Over the last few months, you guys have been asking me to take a look at some of the scams that are going on nowadays. And now we will get onto the eBay GTX scams later on in this video. But this first one is a real new meta for the scammers. I've never heard of anything like this before. And this one will show you the lengths that scammers will go to now to rip people off. Or in this case, I believe they're ripping off retailers. Because my good friend over in the UK, he uh, bought two Coffee Lake CPUs and when he got them in, he unboxed one of them and basically the die fell off the CPU as soon as he took it out of the packaging. And then he was shocked. He was like, wow, this does not even look like a 8th gen or even a 7th or 6th gen CPU since they do share the same uh, socket. It's just the 8th gens will only work on the Z370s. But... What happened was, after that, he told me about this, and I took a look at it, and it looked like a Celeron from way back in the day. I'm actually not even entirely sure what CPU it is, but regardless, it's a ridiculously cheap CPU that you can get for like one or two dollars. And then he said, can you just watch me unbox this second CPU live so I've got some proof in case I send these back to the retailer and they think, you know, I'm full of crap. And I said, definitely. Uh, so he, I watched him unbox this CPU, and then the second one, the, again, the same thing happened. The die fell off the CPU. And basically at that stage, I asked him, I said, you know, because I can't look at it closely from my side of the world. He's over in the UK, I'm over in Australia. And he said it looked, everything looked brand new, like the seal sticker, the white sticker as well, sealing the other side of the box. And for me, this really showed that, because those stickers, especially those little seal stickers, they're really, as soon as you take them off, they're stuck on the box. So what these scammers must be doing is buying off the retailers 8th Gen Coffee Lake CPUs, somehow unboxing it in a way that they can then reseal it. But they're getting the CPU, de-litting it, taking the actual PCB off with the die on it, which is the most important part, putting a really cheap CPU back on, and then they are shipping it back to the retail. And the retailer is probably just going to look at it and say, oh, wow, this still looks brand new. The lid says it's an 8700K or 8th gen CPU. Let's put it back on the shelves. So the retailer in this case, I don't think they've got anything to really be guilty of. I mean, I would not know in a million years how you could reseal these boxes so perfectly. So basically the scammers have some method of getting the CPUs out and then resealing it and then sending it back to the retailers. That's my belief. Of course, there are other possibilities um, some of which the retailers is doing it themselves, which I highly doubt they could get fined and go and imprisoned for a long time for doing that crap, uh, as well as Intel doing it from the factory, but <laughs> I really doubt that as well. So what we've got here is a scam of a new kind of nature, and you really have to be uh, careful of this one because I think once Win picks up that you can do this, and there is some technique for doing it. The underground will let other people know, other scammers, and then they'll start doing it to retailers. So maybe this is a heads up if you guys are friends with retailers who have an honest business, maybe there's some other way now that they'll have to check if the CPUs, if they get returned, they are legitimate Coffee Lake CPUs, and I'm not sure how they would do that. So now one thing I wanted to do was uh, also these first gen chips here, I, I absolutely love them. You can pick them up for seven bucks, off AliExpress, I've been talking about them for a long time, but I've heard that they are delittable, them and the i5-750s. So, I mean, besides this being like a video sort of uh, informing you guys about scammers, I sort of actually wanted to test if you could actually delid one of these. So let's quickly go down and do it. So just got back from the hardware store and you can indeed delid your X3430s or the i5-750s. These are the first gen Intel i-series chips. So I believe you'll be able to delid the X3470s and also the i7-860s as well, which it comes as a bit of a shock to me because I thought the Ivy Bridge series was when they first started putting paste on their overclockable SKUs. I guess not, this is definitely proof to that. And this is still a very popular CPU, especially for budget builders in mind who like to get cheap DDR3, like to get a cheap H55 motherboard off AliExpress, for example. So definitely gonna be delitting a few more of these and testing that out. 
But anyway, Coffee Lake CPU scammers aside, and they're probably using something like this for a base, what about GPU scams? And what are some tips to avoid and look out for scams like these? Let's find out. Welcome back to Tech Yes, it is Brian coming to you guys today with a sad kind of video, but at least the outcome of this video should give you some pointers on how to protect yourself against the crap going out there at the moment. And the first one we're gonna pull up here is a GTX 960 four gigabyte edition going on eBay for a price of $83 Australian. Now, it looks great, right? They've got the photos up there. You've got, oh wow, four gigabytes of VRAM buffer. GTX 960, it's gonna play PUBG. That's what you're probably thinking. And then if you buy one of these GPUs, you're probably gonna put it in your computer and notice that it won't play practically anything at all. Because when we look at this auction closer, they've even included their own GPU Z screenshot. And it shows you that this isn't a GTX 960 at all. They're looking at the shaders and it says 192. Now the GTX 960 didn't have that many stream processors or CUDA cores, whatever you want to call it. Uh, that's the name for it. And it had way more than that. When we go on Google and we look at 192 CUDA cores, we get a GTX 550 Ti, especially when we look at those clock speeds as well, 782 megahertz. I believe the 960 was clocked over a gigahertz on its GPU cores. So this straight away indicates a big crack in this auction. And so this should be a guide that if you see a crack or if you see something that's fishy about an auction, then the first step would be to stay away. Don't buy that auction, even if the price is too good to be true. Hello? It's not a TV studio, Josh. Sorry about that interruption. Let's get back to the video. So the first crack will show itself. Something's wrong with the auction. Now the price, if it's too good to be true, then that's generally another indicator. If especially like the listing says, these are brand new cards. This is another reason why when I got asked to look into these auctions, I told my uh, viewers just on Twitter to completely stay away from these auctions. Uh, especially another thing is you'll notice that the brand names on these Gravis cards a brand is not even a brand, something you've never heard of. It's just some generic crappy cooler that comes out of an OEM manufacturer and everyone's using them for their scam Gravis cards. So that's another sign as well. But let's have a look at some other listings here. We'll pull up a few more and see what we can suss out. So now I've pulled up another seller who's selling practically the exact same graphics cards. Yeah, the problem this time is he's sold 290 of these GTX 960s. And the thing is, like I went to check his feedback and there was only two people who left negative feedback in regards to Nvidia graphics cards that this guy's selling. Uh, now I remember back in 2007 when I first started selling a few things on eBay and I had a friend who was a power seller and he told me one thing, he said, if you're buying on eBay, always check the feedback. And if you even just find one person who has something negative to say, read that negative comment. And sure enough, there was one guy who left negative feedback on this auction and said, it's a copy, it's a fake. Don't buy it, even though I had to translate it. But if you guys are unsure, then definitely check around on some of the feedback that some of these sellers have. And even if you find one that says it's a fake or it's a copy, then that's another clear warning sign to stay away from auctions like these. This time around, this guy hasn't included a GPU Z screenshot. He's just put their, the uh, unified shaders. So instead of putting their CUDA cores, they've sort of changed the wording around to make it look like you wouldn't notice. So I'm surprised at how many graphics cards this seller has sold, honestly. And I'm surprised that he's only received two negative feedback, one of which said he's never received the item, which that does happen, especially if you're selling a lot of items and you're posting internationally. So there's really only one feedback score there that says, hey, this is a fake. So that's pretty surprising. I wonder how many people have actually been hosed from these graphics cards on eBay. So let's pull up another couple of sellers and see what they've got. So now the last one we've got here is a seller who is promising you a GTX 1050, a two gigabyte model for 93 Australian dollars, which would be something in the likes of 70 something US dollars, extremely cheap 
And again, the price is too good to be true. But when we look at it closer, it's got all those checklists that were ticking off before. Some crappy cooler you've never seen before. Price is too good to be true. And then we look at the listing and we've got straight away some warning signs, a core clock, which is under that of a 1050. A 1050 is clocked much higher than 900 megahertz. You've also got the memory bus, which says it's 192 bit wide. That is already signs of a fake. Uh, the GTX 1050 has a 128 bit wide memory bus. So there's straight away, you know this thing's a fake, you know this seller is selling non-legit products. So one thing I have with this though is uh, I've heard of other YouTubers who have bought these graphics cards and indeed just started them up and shown that the performance is really lackluster. They've even went on PayPal and got their money back, sort of scammed the scammer, which I think is a good thing. I think a lot more people should be doing it then these guys will stop selling this crap. But another thing is too, I don't know why eBay doesn't police this and doesn't say, hey, these are graphics cards that are not the original product. They're not even copies that perform similar. They're just completely scams, in my opinion. Why are these sellers allowed to still sell on eBay? That's my biggest problem. eBay should police this crap and say to these sellers, look, you're getting a temporary ban. You can't do this anymore. But of course it still goes on. And when I check some of the feedback, some people are leaving positive feedback on these graphics cards, I guess, because maybe they just want something to play YouTube videos and they put it in and it works. But I'm sure there's guys out there who have got these graphics cards, they've put them in, they wanted to play something like PUBG because they heard a GTX 1050 or a GTX 960 will play PUBG and they indeed will play at 1080p. But if you get a fake GTX, what is really a 550 Ti and put that in, you ain't gonna be playing PUBG at 1080p at all. In fact, you might even be barely lucky to play a 720p at 70% screen scale. I don't even know if a 550 Ti would actually be capable of doing that. Maybe that's a test for another video. But anyway guys, there's some examples I've showed you of what is going on with the scammers and what they're doing nowadays. And basically I'll recap it for you guys. If the price is too good to be true, and especially there's a lot of those for sale and they're brand new, then it usually is. So that's a clear warning sign. Price is too good to be true. Number two, feedback. If you see even one negative score on this Gravis card, then definitely go get a second opinion on it. Number three, if you see it has a crappy OEM cooler that you've never seen before, something that's not from a company like Gigabyte, MSI, Asus, or Galax, or EVGA, for example, then that's another big warning sign. Sure enough, there are some uh, decent OEMs that are coming out from China mainland that are actually legit products. Uh, but generally you'll find that they're priced a lot higher than these fake graphics cards are. And now point number four is there's cracks in the actual specifications of the listings. They're listed as 192 shaders, for example, and a quick Google search will show you that that actual graphics card, for instance, a 960, has a lot more CUDA cores than that's saying in that listing. There's also the core clocks, try and match them up, and even the memory clocks if you're unsure. And then the last point I'll mention before I get on out of here, and the most important thing is, if you've bought one of these graphics cards and you're not sure if it's a scam, you think, hey, maybe the seller's legit, the last thing you can do, of course, is put this card in your computer and just run a 3D Mark Firestrike score. There'll be a graphics score in there, and that'll simply tell you how well this card performs. I've got a list on my website of all the graphics cards that are listed out there. So for instance, if you've got a GTX 960, you can run the Firestrike score, check the GPU score, and then match it up on the website. And if it matches the score that's shown on the website, techcity.tv, then you know you've got a legit GTX 960. If the performance of that GPU score is far below the uh, score listed on the website, then you know you've got a fake or you know something's severely wrong with your computer, but I'm guessing it's the former. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, then be sure to hit that like button and let me know in the comment section below, have you been scammed before? If so, what happened? Also, if you've got some tips and tricks of your own that haven't been listed in this video, then be sure to drop them in the comment section below to help out people, especially newcomers who are getting into the game of buying PC parts, even off eBay, that how they can stay away from scammers who are just trying to steal their money practically. And with that aside, I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye. If so, what happened? Let me know the deets. And also, if you are a scammer yourself, then maybe you can put some tips in to help people stay away from scum like yourself. Oh yeah, sorry, I just read it. I'm just in the middle of recording, dude. I just got back now, sorry. But anyway.
Yeah. But anyway, guys, and I do feel sorry for you already, brothers. I tell you that. Turn these lights out.